Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about uh, a new way of monetizing your live wallpapers and uh, teaching you how to do it. So let's get started. Um, this new advertising company is called Startapp and their monetization model is different from the usual push notifications. These guys pay on a per download basis. You get five cents for every US download and one cent for a non-US download and uh, a tenth of a cent for every returning user. Uh, but um, the catch with these guys is that when uh, your end user downloads uh, the application, they change the the search engine from Google or whatever their default one is to uh, their own custom one. Here, I have their FAQ page open, and I'm just going to read straight from it. Your user will get a search icon on their home screen that leads to our search website, a bookmark link which will be created on their browser's bookmark list, and finally a browser search home page. Now, um, this at first seemed a little invasive and intrusive, but to be honest, um, I haven't seen a lot of negative feedback from the customers, uh, from, from the users. They, they don't seem to complain, and there is a huge uh, opt-in which notifies the user about what's, what's happening before the app is installed. So they're fully aware of, uh, of what's going on and uh, in control whether or not they want it or not. So. Uh, so far, it's proven to be um, a, a good choice, and uh, I gotta admit that it is a very good alternative to uh, push notifications because um, it's it's starting to become very very lucrative. So uh, now that you know, I'll teach you how to do it. So let's get started. I'm gonna open up my clips right here, and I'm gonna assume that you guys. Uh, have looked at the importing tutorial and how to import uh, your live wallpaper creator projects into Eclipse. So we're gonna we're not gonna talk about that, but uh, skip straight to to the good stuff. Okay. So the first thing we want to do now that Eclipse is open is create a new folder. Right click on your project, go to new, find folder. Okay. Now this prompt comes up. Type in libs and click finish. So now libs is created and we're gonna put there. SDK right into that folder, just like that. I'm just gonna ask copy the link. I'm gonna say copy. Perfect. Now it's there. Now we need to add it to the build path. And to do that, simply right-click on the SDK that's in libs folder, go to build path, and then just click add to build path. And that's pretty much it. So this step is done. Now onto the next step. Let's just refer back to the PDF manual. And here we go. Update the manifest file. So it's got a lot of permissions. Um, so we're going to copy all of those. Control C. Go back to Eclipse. Open up the manifest. Uh, make sure if you see this, just uh, click on this tab at the end Android manifest.xml. And we'll show you the raw XML file. So now we need to copy all those permissions. And we're just going to do it right under here, just like that. Fix the alignment. There you go. Okay, so now all those permissions are present. Let's go to the next step. Um, under the application node, we add a new service. So copy that line and go to Eclipse and find it. There's the application node. So we're going to we're going to stick a new service somewhere. doesn't even matter here, so we can just go right here. So there's a new service. Now we add a new activity tag. Once again, goes under the application node. So just underneath. And uh, now we add your developer ID and app ID. So same thing right underneath perfect obviously you have to replace these with uh, your own developer IDs and uh, your app IDs uh, we'll skip this step for now um, just showing you how to do this so let's move on and um, now uh, yes as the uh, manual tells you this is where you'll find your developer ID and if you'll, this is where you'll find your app ID. So it's all very well explained. Now we need to initiate it in our code. 
so the first thing we need to do is create an import this is the import so control C now let's find our Java file and this is the main file there we go this is where all this is where we keep all the imports so we'll place it right here there we go and finally now we need to add this little line in our onCreate method and um, throw it in here that's it save save this as well I can't save the, ma the manifest because I need to put in some numbers under the value so that's no problem we'll just type in some random numbers just for completeness sake and there we go it's good to go now we can build it and uh, publish it make sure you enable it in your um, start app console as well um, so that's pretty much it as you can see implementation is very simple and I just want to say that you guys should give it a shot um, you can you can help you can help us out by uh, going uh, signing up signing up through our referral link uh, that way everybody benefits and everybody gets cash and um, I, I will also be posting our um, uh, revenue report so you can see what what kind of numbers we get just just uh, just as, as an example so you know check out check out our forums uh, at uh, live wallpaper creator.com and uh, yeah post your thoughts and if you have any questions you know just give us a shout uh, thanks for being with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial cheers